on my way to the airport to see my friend Melissa down in Dallas and uh, be spending some time with her. We're supposed to be going to downtown Dallas on Saturday and to the Longhorns in Fort Worth on Sunday. So I'll get as many pictures as I can. I'm not sure about videotaping, but we'll see. But talk to you later. So while I'm driving to the airport, I just was thinking, this morning I watched a video and it was all right, but it was so much uh, negativity about the way other people eat. And, you know, I get it. We're all concerned about um, like people on the SAD diet being sick, even though they may not realize that they could have things going on that uh, they don't even know. But, what gives us the right to put anyone else down? There's so much negativity in the world as it is. For this community to have so much, it's aggravating. I mean, I have met some great, great people through the keto community. And I'm very appreciative of that. And this is why I started my channel, too, and to tell my story and to try to help somebody out. I did not start this channel to try to belittle somebody else or knock down the way they eat for any reason whatsoever. I mean, it, it's just not cool. There's too, too much going on in this world to do this. I, I don't understand it. You know, if somebody chooses to eat sweets, you know, you can only talk to somebody so much and then they're going to do what they're going to do. But is it our place to tell them they're being dumb or, you know, you're going to die if you don't change your way of eating with my family? Yeah, I can tell them my experience. They, they've seen it, but I can't make them do it. When you're talking to somebody that you maybe seen on a video or or something else it just it's so aggravating you don't know this person personally first of all most of the time anyway you you really don't and to knock them down for what they do is is like saying you're better than they are and there is no one in the world better than anyone else and that's the way it is. I mean, we're all equals. And that's the way we all should be treated. And, uh, you know, I, it just bothered me. I, I watched this video and I'm like, okay, if this is what she wants to do, let her do it. Who are we to say that what she's doing is wrong? You know, it's like everybody in this community says we have to find what works for us. And the only way to do that is trial and error. Same thing other people are doing, whether they're vegan, vegetarian, keto, carnivore, ketovore, whatever they are, whatever they choose to do, that's their choice. And they shouldn't be knocked down for it. You know, if they ever come around to, oh my goodness, something's wrong and I need help, we're all going to be there. But until then, they got to live their life the best way they know how. Just like we have to live our life the best way we know how. And, you know, thanks to this community and a big thank you to my sister, I have found this way of eating and have done a lot for my health. <laughs> and I can't be more appreciative of everyone. Um, Dr. Barry, Two Crazy Ketos, Wendy and Harry for the recipes, Neely, I mean, you name it, Steve from Serious Keto, I've watched them all and, and learned a lot of different recipes, learned a lot of great information from Dr. Barry, Dr. Baker, you know, and so many more. But one thing I don't want to learn is the negativity aspect of 
knocking somebody down because they're strict carnivore or knocking somebody down because they're not strict carnivore or to tell somebody they're doing something wrong. They're doing what they know to do, what is best for them. And if not, they're trying to figure it out. So we really need to get a grasp on, on all that and let people be who they are and take it with a grain of salt. You know, they just have to do what's best for them at that moment. That's all any of us can do. Anyway, I wanted to get that off my chest, so to speak, because that was really bugging me from this morning. And I have nothing better to do other than drive to the airport. <laughs> so I will talk with you soon. So we went to this one barbecue place and on the appetizer list were these pork rinds seasoned with tahine and with queso for dipping. And my order, other than the appetizers of the pork rinds, was this pulled pork. Waco, Texas with my friend Melissa. This is from a food truck. It's a double cheeseburger with bacon ground into the meat. It's going to be delicious. So that same day after those burgers from the food truck, we had gotten some bacon cheddar burgers and I made some egg and cheese chaffles for dinner. The next day, we had gone to a restaurant while we were in Fort Worth, and we had a chicken BLT. She had hers on a wrap. I had mine on a bed of lettuce. I ate the chicken, the bacon, and it came with a pickle spear. And that was it. That night, I had my leftover pulled pork, and that was the extent of my food while I was gone.